Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. You might think that the U in USB stands for universal, and in theory it is universal, but we're still dependent on the actual implementation of all the devices and peripherals and sometimes even the cables. So today I will show you some problems that I've had with the external Blu-ray drive. It can run just from a USB 3 port and a USB 3 port can deliver more power than a standard USB 2 port. So first we're gonna test with the standard charger that comes from with the Pinebook Pro. So we're going to connect it and you probably saw that the screen also became a little bit brighter so that's usually an indication that it is charging and in theory it should have enough power to also power peripherals properly so on this side there is a USB 3 port and when I plug it in The drive tries to spin up, but it doesn't get enough power and it sort of gets stuck in a boot loop. And at first I thought, well, perhaps it's just the USB 3 port and perhaps it can get enough power from the USB Type-C port because USB Type-C is capable of passing through much more power than a USB 3 port, the USB type A. So we'll disconnect it for now. And I have a USB type C hub and it also has some USB type A ports. So we'll plug it in. There you go, and then we plug in the drive. But unfortunately, the Pinebook Pro doesn't give enough power on the USB Type-C port, and the Blu-ray drive is also stuck in some sort of boot loop. So we'll disconnect it and we also get rid of the standard charger and I thought well if it's really a problem of power then I also have a USB Type-C charger for my HP Spectre laptop. HP Spectre X2 to be precise. So what we can do is we plug in the power and we'll use the oops, that's a bit messy now. Up. The power delivery of the And now you can hear that it spins up properly and when I connect it it should automatically show me that there's a drive connected but apparently that doesn't work so I'll plug it in again
Well, it does spin up properly, but you also probably saw that the screen became dimmer. So the USB Type-C hub is no longer giving power to the Pinebook Pro because it needs all the power for the Blu-ray drive. But the problem now is, is that the Pinebook Pro doesn't see the Blu-ray drive. So that's still no success. Now the HP Spectre X2 was a bit notorious because it turned out that HP they didn't really adhere to the USB Type-C standards and apparently the charger isn't fully Type-C compliant. I mean I can charge my phone with it and just as an example LG G5 again with Rosetta at home. Whoops. Show me the tasks. So now it says ready and that we have to connect a charger. And when we connect a charger, then it starts running again. So the phone is able to get power from the HP laptop charger. Now, as sort of a last resort, I also bought a 65 watt compact charger and it actually has uh, three connections so you can plug in USB type A and type C power to the USB Type-C hub. We connect it. Now the Pinebook Pro is charging again. And when we connect the external Blu-ray drive, now it spins up properly. And you can also see that it recognizes the disk and we can open it with the file manager. So there's two things. One, that the Pinebook Pro does not give enough power to the USB port and perhaps enough for USB 2 but not enough for USB 3 or Type-C. And we also saw some differences between the HP charger for my laptop and the USB Type-C charger that I bought from China. So when something doesn't work properly, you can see that a lot of factors can be involved and perhaps for one person it works and when you have some different setup, perhaps it doesn't work for you. But it doesn't necessarily mean that something is broken, it's just that something might not be fully compatible. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.